Hello, I'm Joey Schott in the WUFT Newsroom. For Wednesday, February 17th, here's your news in 90. A South Florida teenager has been arrested and accused of posing as a doctor. Investigators found that Dr. Love Robinson was practicing without a medical license. According to healthgrades.com, Love Robinson's profile says he specializes in naturopathy, psychology, and mental health. A group of Illinois House Democrats are proposing to make President Obama's birthday the next state holiday. The proposal says August 4th should be considered a legal holiday in which Illinois state offices, schools, and businesses can close. Obama's Nobel Peace Prize and the fact that he is the first black president of the U.S. are among reasons to honor him, according to the sponsors of the bill. The Duchess of Cambridge wrote in the Huffington Post today trying to remove the stigma attached to mental health issues. Kate called for change, writing that many adults are often afraid to ask for help for their children. Her comments came during a start of a campaign called Young Minds Matter, which raises awareness around mental health and children. U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama wrote an article for the site praising the Duchess for her shining a light on the millions who suffer in silence. A New York City man lost his wallet at a concert and was surprised when the person who found it returned almost everything. He received an envelope with his credit cards and an anonymous note. It read, I kept the cash because I needed weed, the Metro card because, well, the fare's $275 now, and the wallet because it's kind of cool. The concert hall caught wind of what happened and offered him tickets to an upcoming show. They recommended he keep his wallet at home. That's your news in 90. Thanks for watching.